fatigue, weight gain, joint pain, constipation, depression, have I gotten your attention yet? All can be symptoms of dehydration, and the list goes on from there. Further symptoms of dehydration include low back pain, stress, heartburn, hypertension, sleep disorders, premature aging, urinary tract infections. Water makes up over half your body weight, and it's something that we need to replenish daily. And we hear different rules on how much water to drink. Some people say drink eight glasses. Some people say drink half your body weight in ounces of water a day. Both are good rules to follow. Um, a really simple test is just your urine color. Your urine should be a light yellow or clear. One concern with, with dehydration is that once you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated. It's too late. You need to make sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day so that you don't actually feel thirsty. The question that I often field is what kind of water should I drink? Should I drink tap water? Is that safe? Should I buy bottled water? Should I buy a filter? What's the best for me? Um, and that's a really good question. And the truth is actually a lot of bottled water is simply tap water. So if you're going to buy bottled water, you should do your research and figure out where is it bottled from. Um, it could be a tap or maybe they do a filter process for it. But otherwise you'd just be wasting your money because you can be drinking out of a water fountain and not spend the dollar, dollar fifty on a bottle of water. There's a few more reasons to not choose bottled water. One being the cost. Another is that it's not environmentally friendly. In 2008, Americans spent about $11 billion on water bottled water that, for the most part, is just from a tap. The world uses about 1.5 million tons of plastic each year, most of which will end up in a landfill. In the United States, we use about 1.5 million barrels of oil to create the plastics that we use. I also hear people say, well, if I just buy one plastic bottle and I reuse it, is that okay? And the answer really is that's not recommended. Uh, plastic can leach contaminants into the water, especially if you reuse them a lot, which stresses the plastic or the bottle or if it's something that's left into your, in your car and it's heated up, that can cause the um, different chemicals to leach into your water, which would make it unsafe to use. I recommend just buying a standard bottle. You can buy them that say they're BPA free, so that means that they don't leach uh, chemicals into the water, and just carry it around with you and refill it throughout the day. Um, this will ensure that you're sipping on water all day long. The most environmentally friendly thing that you can do, the healthiest thing that you can do, and the most cost effective thing that you can do is just to purchase your own filter and put it on your faucet at home. Another subject to talk about when making sure people are hydrated is what about sports drinks, what about beverages that say that they're meant for weight loss or that they have all these extra vitamins and nutrients in them and that they're important for your health. The truth is they're probably not worth the money. Um, just drinking plain water is the most effective and the healthiest thing that you can do because water naturally detoxifies your body. Um, and a lot of times sports drinks have a time and a place, but for everyday use they're not beneficial. Um, for one, they have extra calories, which most people don't want to consume those extra calories. And two, they have a lot of man-made ingredients or chemicals in them that your body just doesn't need. There are times when you're going to need to drink more than that average eight glasses a day and that's when the weather's warmer you'll need to drink more water. If you're a coffee drinker or you drink caffeine, tea or soda, um, which naturally dehydrates your body, you'll want to drink more water. And then also if you're a very active person, if you come to track and you're working out in the facility, um, if you're exercising a lot and sweating a lot, you'll need to replenish that water that you lost. So if your goals are to lose weight, have healthy skin, to increase your energy, then make sure you stay well hydrated.